was your experience with Donkey Kong Country? I've played the Super Nintendo games. So that's about it. Same, same. Played the the in played oh, in sixty four. Yeah, yeah, I played Donkey Kong sixty four some as well. Yeah, yeah. Tiny bit of Diddy Kong Racing. I played the shit out of Diddy Kong Racing. I only ever got to play it at my cousin's house because I never had a copy of it. And so I only ever <laughs> got to play like the first race. I remember when I beat Whizpig at the end of the game, I was just like, I was like, yeah! And then turns out, oh, you're not done. You gotta, you gotta keep that train a rolling. You gotta do it all over again. Mm. And it's even harder. It's even harder the next time. Oh, fun. Oh, yeah. But I just remember, also, some of the bosses, uh, like the dragon would get out to just like a ridiculous head start and there was no way in hell you could catch him. And I thought that was absolute bullshit. I can't remember how it was that I got to play Donkey Kong Country and Donkey Kong Country 2, but I think my cousin might have had them or something. But I know I got to play some of them, but then uh, my uh, elementary school crush, Lauren... Mm -hmm. let me borrow Donkey Kong Country 3 and I let her borrow a game that uh, she wanted to play I think like Clay Fighter or something oh really um, and uh, I remember Donkey Kong Country 3 was one I had a lot of fun with I got to play it more than the rest of them because I, uh, she let me borrow a copy for quite some time you know like several weeks there it is before we, got, before we uh, switched games back <laughs> uh Oh, uh, yeah, the, there it is. So, yeah, the N64 version is, is top-notch. The DS version is kind of garbage. Uh, I was looking at Diddy Kong Racing. Yep. Yeah. Oh, man. I just... Once again, like, the games that we played when we were younger are just... They hold such a, a good place in my heart. You know, like... like I know the Donkey Kong Country games. I know that, you know, DK64, and for me, Diddy Kong Racing. I mean, when they were being developed by Rare, it's almost as though it was just like, it, they couldn't do wrong, they couldn't go wrong. They couldn't go wrong with it, and, and they, yeah, the Battletoads games. There it is. Donkey Kong Country, Killer Instinct, Donkey, my uh, favorite two rare games are still probably two of the less mainstream ones, though. Uh, one of them was kind of mainstream. But well, I know uh, Jet uh, Jet Force Jet Gemini. Force Gemini. There it is. Perfect and Dark. Conquers Bad Fur Day. Perfect, perfect Dark. Oh, Perfect Dark. Okay. Yeah, well, no, Perfect Dark Conquers sold Conquers really well. I never played Conquers Bad Fur Day. <laughs> it it was something. It surprised me with how much I liked it. Yeah, in my opinion, Perfect Dark was a better single-player experience than GoldenEye. Well, considering it was the spiritual successor to GoldenEye, yeah. and they basically took the game engine that it had and amplified it to, like, 100. When ga Gaming in the 90s was just so weird because they had to do all these analog peripherals to make everything work properly. Yeah. And now it's and now it's, they were developing technology faster than the generations were switching up. Yep. Uh, well, anywho, we got this one here: DKC Donkey Kong Country, uh, Return to Crocodile Isle, an animated short uh, by Alex Henderson Animation. So uh, we're gonna be checking this one out, and um, I guess we're gonna see what kind of. What kind of silliness the the DK crew is going to get up to? Are they going to do the DK rap? And then there's Chunky. He's dead. Since a lot of people hate DK sixty four, I highly doubt they will. <laughs> well, people hate it because of the in retrospect because of the collectathon that it was. Still though, the game the game was amazing for what it was able to pull off for the time. Oh, spare me an ale. And I'll tell you the story of the mad pirate king who was destined for glory. Through fire and fury, the king sadly failed. It seems his ambitions weren't quite up to King K. Rule. I'd like to propose a toast to this very momentous occasion. 
As we're all gathered here today in memoriam of our once great leader. I thought it was your birthday. <sighs> it was. <laughs> oh, but Glum, why are we celebrating a decade-long abscess? I said in memoriam of, not in celebration of. And that's absence, you boneheaded halfwit. Hmm. So, what do you suppose ever happened to him? Roaches. They be hard to kill. He probably tucked his feelers under whatever rock was big enough to secure so that. Well, it all a bit of hearsay, but I hear he took one too many congregate cars and the old scaling <laughs> He got picked to the bone by a bunch of bloody sharks. <laughs> Bro said electric barbecue. Hashtag slow cooked. Uh, I heard oh. that a higher power determined that he and by proxy us were unfit to continue coexisting with our comrades. Forcibly removing all contact with them and thus leading to a light. I thought that was actually DK that was dead. <laughs> I, I thought for a second, also, the crown throw. So I, I was kind of thinking when I saw it, just for a split second, I was like... It's got to be a dummy. Wait, and then I was like, hey, I think they're going to probably show that it's not actually him. Yeah. All contact with him, and thus leading to a light defining. I think he's getting sick and tired of hearing him talking shit. Wow, you are right. Together for a villain most cruel, because this time he's here to rule. Hey. If absence sows a hungry heart, <laughs> vanished without your king, it seems you lot forgot the brand of cruelty that I bring. I remind you, faithful subjects, I know it's been a while. Lest you fancy your death by my jaws or my breath, don't smile at this crocodile. In individuals, insanity is rare. But in crews, cutthroats, countries, and cremospheres, it is the rule. Was a ending dynasty, the man was lush and we ruled the sea. We lived our lives so peacefully as a harmonious crew. A quiet place. No monkey business. His conquest and vengeance cost this. Our dental was better too. No, I can barely chew. Oh. <laughs> yes, well, our paradise didn't last too long, cause our book was rocked in our kingdom rock. By the name of Kong, the seal of family feud. From this loss and devastation, I will bring us to salvation. Worship me like once before, and all shall be restored. If we. I don't think they're buying it. <laughs> no. all to jungle jail. Must tip the scale. Let's make that crunch and ride and flail. Damn. We tip the scale. Reclaim our land, our holy grail. We shall not fail. We'll end this monkey's tail. We'll tip the scale. Let's tip the scale. Ten years. That cellar dweller was in the basement for ten years? Well, that does explain all the missing food. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you try to deny it that they've hidden round my bell? My many hats and all this lunacy. I know I've made this hell. These failures running through my mind like monkeys jumping in my head. My finest hour cast aside and rendered positively dead. And still I fought it like a hero, spite the tragedy and travesty. And now I have returned with life and glory as your majesty. And your disgraceful prattle while I was off secluded with a mutiny. Ha! I'd have you executed! No, I know what you want, <laughs> and I know you must be down. I'm here to save the day and here to turn the ship around. We're going to pick up the slackity, make a crackity rackity, gonna turn these monkeys into public to banana jackeries! Don't beg, just kneel, and your loyalty is sealed. Pledge for 
the fight will show our trembling might with me your sail and keel ah the yeah, like take down all the banana trees and take them to the bananas Miss me. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he's still... <laughs> he never did anything. He is still in the basement. Damn. That was... really, really good. That's interesting. Your Highness, <laughs> the, the Kremlin crew's been in a bit of disarray without you. Ah, oh, hit game again. Uh, how many times have we been over this? There's no Mr. Keith Crud rule residing within these walls, soldier. I don't even know who that is. And why we keep getting this junk man? Clump, my dearly dauntless clump. Remind me, if I ever were to kill myself, I could scale to the heights of your blind devotion and leap down towards your IQ! <laughs> you know, Damn. it's a very handsome name. Well, I'll just be... I'll be... Well, welcome home, sir! Hey, on a slightly less sensitive note, is there anyone in particular you'd really like to see join the roster for the upcoming event? <laughs> I knew it. Nope. No one comes to mind. I mean, who else, who else is there? Well, they get a load of me. Nice. <laughs> okay, so that actually like it had a good uh, tie-in with the uh, with like K. Roll getting the invitation to go to Smash the Smash Tourney. I think that that's actually really I think it's actually really cool. But <laughs> this uh oh didn't realize that so many people. They passed away making this. Well, there you go. So, that was actually really good animation. Re I, 
if that's a, honestly, if I saw a Nintendo movie animated in that style, I think I'd like that. I think I'd like that a lot. But, yeah, this, this was really well done. This, I, I have no big complaints about it. I just, I'm just gonna say that, you know, King K. Rule, the, like, the Donkey Kong Country, Return to Crocodile Isle, I give that a thumbs up. I'm get, as a matter of fact, I'm giving it a thumbs up in the vi like in the video itself. So there you go. Also, uh, let's see. Also, I'm gonna leave a comment down here and just be like, never hold on, never knew. K. Rule had such a lovely singing voice. There we go. Uh, plus, this took them two and a half years to make. That's wow. That, that feels familiar. Some dedication. Yep. Uh, it took two years to make our film as well, and it was, shoo, that was that was something. Well, two plus with pre-production and everything. But yeah, Donkey Kong Country, Return to Crocodile Isle. Uh, this, uh, this, once again, really good. And I can recommend it wholeheartedly to anybody out there. Uh, especially big DK fans. I know there's some DK fans out there. I wonder what Grant Kirkhope would think of this. The guy who did the music for the, uh, Donkey Kong, uh, uh, country games. He'd probably think it was pretty cool. I would hope so. Uh, but anyway. That's good. <clears throat> that's gonna do it. So, take care. And until next time, I'm Nate. Y'all be good people. Take care. Peace.